Huntington disease is one of at least nine diseases that are due to an expansion of a CAG repeat. That CAG repeat is in the protein coding region of the gene and in frame to encode a specific amino acid. That amino acid is glutamine. So as a result, in the disease protein, Huntington protein, you get this stretch of glutamine or polyglutamine in the protein. And hence, a lot of people talk about these CAG repeat diseases as polyglutamine diseases. I like that term because I do believe that the problem of disease definitely involves a problem in the protein. But as I mentioned in my talk, it's not as simple as that. Again, repeated expansions are complicated. The mechanisms are complicated. So yes, expansion of the polyglutamate domain in Huntington disease and the Huntington protein can cause that protein to misfold and aggregate, and that cannot be a good thing. But it also may be the case that the CAG repeat, independent of the protein effect, can have its own problems in causing something at the RNA level or at the epigenetic level. So in hunting disease, that's exactly what I talk about. Sounds simple. It's a problem with the protein. Well, I think that's probably partly true, but not completely true. Now, when we talk about the mechanisms, it also suggests routes to therapy. And while my talk is not spending time on the therapies themselves, I'm setting the stage, if you will, I'm teeing it up for the next speaker, who is Ed Wild, who will talk about therapeutic strategies. If you think about it, if the hunting disease is caused by a mutant protein that is acting in a toxic way, how about just reducing levels of that protein? Sounds pretty exciting. Let's do that. And that's it, one of the strategies I'm sure that Dr. Wild will speak about. Um, that, again, brings up complexities. You can reduce levels of Huntington, but since it's such an important protein, that could be a problem. And uh, I'll look forward to hearing what Dr. Wild has to say, because we know that we can reduce levels of Huntington protein without causing damage and maybe helping. And that is a potential route to therapy.